Hey everyone, Robert Silver here, and next week I'll be attending the 2018 Photo Plus Expo New York City on behalf of Mike's Camera. The Photo Plus International Conference and Expo was founded in 1983 and is the largest photography and imaging event in North America. The show features over a hundred educational seminars, photo walks, and master classes, with over 200 exhibitors and brands displaying thousands of the latest equipment, products, and services for you to touch, try, and compare. For that, there is no reason why over 20,000 photographers love to attend Photo Plus every year. In this video, I wanted to share with you the camera gear I plan to bring with me to New York, not only for the Photo Plus Expo, but also for the first photo hike event I'll be hosting in New York City's Central Park, Sunday, October 28th. Okay, so here is all the gear I plan to bring with me on my trip to New York City. Um, it covers not only my photography side, but as well as my video side. Uh, what's not on this table is the GH5, which I'm recording with right now with the 12 to 60 millimeter lens. So with that said, that's why you don't see it here. First, I wanna start off with the camera bags I'm gonna be using, and then I'll go ahead and show you what I'm gonna be putting in each of these bags. First is the Mindshift Gear 18L Camera Day Backpack and believe it or not it really holds a lot even though there's three of these there's the 28 and i believe the 38 uh and the l means leaders so this is the smallest one of the, of the three and it holds everything i need in terms of photography and then some and my other bag i'll be bringing is my retrospective let me see which one this is because i've got a couple of them this is the retrospective seven okay now, on the Retrospective 7, I'm going to be putting all of my video and audio gear inside there. This is going to mainly just carry my photography gear and my laptop. All right, so let's get to it. Um, first, as far as camera, I'm bringing uh, for stills will be my Nikon D850. Right now, it's got the 24 to 70 uh, 2.8 lens. And then I have my uh, Nikkor, first, uh, no, it's the second version. 7200 2.8 definitely bringing that in case i need some reach but just in case i'm gonna get super wide get creative i have my 14 to 24 and this is a monster when it comes to landscapes cityscapes so i'll be bringing this even though it weighs a lot um but i'd rather get the shot so i'm that kind of packer so i don't care the fourth and final lens for my still will be a 105 f 1.4 lens this thing is a monster it's a beast it's definitely a must for any portrait photographer this is a beautiful lens so i'll be bringing that with me um i was debating between this and my 90 millimeter macro tamron lens but i have a feeling um i've already got one or two photo shoots that i will be doing while i'm there uh with a couple of new york models and i think the 105 i'll get a lot more use out of it so that's kind of why i decided to do that now of course i'll be bringing my grip just because i like shooting <laughs> vertical and horizontal so like this will help me tremendously so i'm gonna bring that in terms of batteries um i'm actually gonna be bringing five batteries for my d850 now the d850 has the EL15 batteries, and these things are great. They're fantastic. They last a super long time, but you never know with technology, so i rather overpack. One is none, two is one, three is two. With that said, I bring in five, okay? Just in case, you never know. Here is my Think Tank pocket rocket full of SD cards. The ones that are empty are in the cameras, and one of them's in the GH5, so that's why you don't see it. But I have PNY's uh, Pro Elite's 32 gigabyte cards, bunch of them, 64 gigs. Uh, for video, I keep a 512 gig in there because I like recording 4K, so I don't want to have to worry about space, especially when I'm traveling. Um, of course, I'm bringing my light meter, the Psychonic, what is this, a 308, I believe it is? Yeah, 30L308. This thing is awesome. It helps me get dialed in very quick. And yes, I know with mirrorless and especially with high performance cameras, you could dial in pretty quick. But honestly, for portraiture, this really gives me some accurate measurements and there's less chimping, less going looking down at my images. I can dial in very quickly and it's really not that big. It'll fit in a small pocket. So there we go. Of course, I'm bringing my um, 
white balance cards or exposure cards, but this allows me to get accurate gray or 18% gray, at least closest to it. And then when I'm shooting the streets, which I plan on doing, uh, my portraits, when I get there, um, at least I have a good reference to dial in accurate white balance. All right. Now, uh, oh, of course, I'm going to be bringing the Peak Design ca Pro camera strap. I think it's just called Pro Strap, but not. But either way, this camera strap is is kick ass. I love it because it's super rugged. It doesn't hurt after a while. I hate my other camera straps always dig into my shoulder. This is real good. And plus, this one adjusts super quick. So if I need to adjust, boom, done. Love it. If I want to tighten it up. Boom, done, love it, rock and roll, I'm ready to go. So that's the camera strap I'm gonna be bringing. I may bring two because I could have one for the GH5 and then one for my D850, but we'll figure it out later. Um, now this bad boy, I just acquired this collection of filters, but nonetheless, this pouch carries up to 82 millimeter uh, filters in this pouch. There's a ProMaster pouch I got at Mike's camera. It holds six. And if you're really delicate, I'm sure you could double stack in there, but I wouldn't recommend it. You might scratch it, but it holds six filters. Um, I have UV filters on most of these, on three of these. I have UV filters, but what will most likely be in here is um, ND filters or any polarizers that I want to bring just in case, you know, um, for exposure and what kind of effect I want coming through the lens. So, but that for sure will be in that bag. Um, I am bringing my 15 inch MacBook Pro. That's what this is right here with this awesome decal. It will fit in here even though it says 13 inches and I'll show you that in a second. Now, so that's for my, oh, and last but not least for my photography. Well, two things really. One is my um, Manfrotto B Free. What is this here? This is the, uh, yeah, this is the B Free. Manfrotto tripod. This thing is great. It's built like a fucking tank, um, but it's lightweight. It will fit. And you see, even though this is their smaller backlight backpacks, look how look at that. That's that's awesome. I love it. My uh, other, I have a great Vanguard tripod, but it sticks up like way up here, and I'm looking too, I'm looking like I'm tactical all of a sudden, like a military dude walking through the streets. But this is nice and discreet. It can go in the side pockets if I want, uh, but this one has a pouch back here. Um, but I love this tripod. I bring it with me everywhere because it's so small. It's 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 awesome. So I'm gonna be definitely using this. I'm gonna do some long exposures, and uh, yeah. This is going to be definitely it. Then, um, this will be the last but not least. Of course, I'm bringing my shutter release cable for those long exposures. So, definitely follow me on Instagram uh, at Hella Cool Locales. And that is my travel photography page. And you'll be able to see some of those long exposures that I take, maybe on the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, somewhere in downtown Manhattan, uh, Dumbo section of Brooklyn, we'll see. And of course I bring my cleaning kit. I never leave, I never pack a bag without a good cleaning kit and you shouldn't either. So I've got my, my wipe here for my lens, got the spray which helps me with my glasses. Um, I've got a brush here and I've got a little windage, a little windage, a little windage. The day you don't bring it is the day you need it, all right? Now, so that takes care of the photography section. Now let's head on over to the video section. First is these RGB 300s. These are awesome. This is from Savage. The reason why I'm bringing these is because not only do they light up like so, they're nice and compact. Here's my hand, just for like a reference. They come with their own battery, which I believe lasts two to, I think it's, it's four hours. Four hours on 100%. That's pretty awesome. Now, what I like about it the most is not only are they dimmable, I can make them dim like I'm doing right now. I can also, cause it's 300, you could switch these bad boys to different colors. Look at that, look at that. I'm making all these different colors, super cool. So depending on the atmosphere and what I'm trying to do, boom bada bing, I'm making all these cool colors. If you've been watching my last, uh, at least five previous videos, you could see how my background in my videos have improved because I've been using these bad boys in the back to light the back of my video. So these things are like secret video awesome weapons. Plus having two of them, 
um, allows me to light any room that I'm in that I need to record my video during my trip. But also, um, if I want to add some colors during photography, yeah, these things are awesome and they're bright. They are bright. Well, I'm going to bring two mic sets. Right now I have the, uh, what are these here? These are the Rode Lynx. These are the Rode microphone uh, lavaliers. So I'll be bringing this that I'm using right now, as well as the VideoMic Pro. This thing is awesome. I got the little windage condom on this thing, but it's really good, especially in the windy streets and loud streets of New York City. This is gonna help damper some of the background noise. Now, as I said, I'm recording with the GH5 and I will be bringing that. That will be doing all the video work during my visit, slow motion, time lapse, etc. But now the lenses, I have that 12 to 60 uh, 2.8 that's on there right now, but I'm also bringing the 42.5 1.7. I am bringing the 25 1.7 with me. And also one of my favorite lenses that uh, Panasonic has is the 15 1.7. And this is cool. I love it because even for street photography, it gives me a nice like 30 millimeter, you know, full frame equivalent effect when I'm walking around the streets and it's super discreet. It's not big. So I really like this lens a lot. So I'll be using that. I do have an AC adapter for the GH5, which is plugged in right now to the wall. Um, I'll be bringing that for doing my updates on Photo Plus. But on the when I'm on the uh, floor, I'll be bringing three whoops, three batteries if I could manage to not drop them. Three batteries with me, ready to go. And um, you know what? As far as mirrorless, is, a mirrorless battery life is concerned, the GH5 or just Panasonic, for some reason, they got it right. This thing lasts a long time, each one. So I'm really happy to have three of them. That means all day, I will not have to worry about having power. Now that I pretty much explained everything that I will be bringing with me for my still and video work, Let's pack the bags and see how that goes. Cool. There you go. You're off to races. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this thing's heavy as hell, but it fits and it looks good. And uh, for me to have as much as I showed you I could put in is pretty impressive. That's the still photography side. Now let's pack the video gear. There you go. So that's what's in my bag for the 2018 Photo Plus Expo. If you have any questions about any of the camera gear I mentioned in this video, please post them in the comment section down below. For anyone interested in attending my upcoming photo hike through Central Park, feel free to head on over to photohike.org for more information. Otherwise, subscribe to stay tuned as I give you a front row experience as I cuddle, embrace, and play with the latest camera tech being showcased throughout the Photo Plus Expo during my touch tour. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in some way. If you haven't already, please press that like, share, and of course, subscribe to my channel. I'm Robert Silver, and until next time, keep shooting, stay creative.